Hello friends, this is Shivam and you are watching the next tutorial of the series of data analysis using Python and in this tutorial what we will be doing is running a random forest classifier and the data set that we are using is the same data set, the RS data set from the UCI machine learning repository. Now first of all we will have to import the required libraries. We, will, we have imported the required libraries such as pandas, numpy, os matplotlib, sklearn and various functions from sklearn. So let us try to run the cell over here. Now in the next step what we just did, we just changed the directory to the home directory where the data set is located and we are just trying to load the iris data set. So now we will just see, we will just get the few observations of the of the data set iris and it is taking a bit of time and yes it is so so let's see the very first observations of the iris data set using the iris.head command and these are the same observations and we have been using this data set from a long time and now we will just do the exploratory data analysis and for that we have uh, we will be just plotting a pair plot between the between the different variables of the iris data set so this is the the pair plot for the different variables of the iris data set and you can see that this is the this is the the pair plot and you can see that the you can compare the various different variables the continuous variables of uh, the data set with how they are uh, related to each other and what is the correlation between them and uh, various statistical analysis based on this pair plot so now let's move ahead and split the data set into training and testing data set we have assigned the feature columns to be paddle length sepal length paddle width and sepal width so now we have just created the x and y data frames x x is a is, is a data frame and y is a series so now based on this we have just split the data into testing and training data set using the train test split function from the sklearn.cross validation so now we will just split the data set and now in the next step we will just build the model based on the training data set so now we will try to run the random forest classifier so we will be importing the random forest classifier so we will be importing the random forest classifier from sklearn.ensemble import random random forest classifier now we will name it classifier classifier and we will instantiate the random forest classifier and we will fix the number of estimators to be 25 estimators to be 20 and estimators to be 25 and uh, now we will just fit we will just fit the training data set to the random forest classifier we will be just giving the x train <coughs> and uh, the y train data set and uh, we will just fit the random forest classifier and uh, this is how and uh, so now we can see that okay we have done a mistake over here and let's do it again so we have fit a random forest classifier to our training data set we have set the number of estimators to be 25 and now let's try to predict the X test data set based on the classifier so we will store this 
into predictions and classifier dot predict for x test data set. Now we can also print the confusion matrix, the confusion matrix, confusion matrix using the sklearn dot matrix dot confusion matrix command and we will just just y test and predictions so let's see that what is the confusion matrix of the model of it looks like so here we will be just so here we can see that it has predicted all of the test data set right only the single one observation is predicted wrong otherwise all of the variables all of the, the test data is predicted very right so now let us also check the accuracy score using the sklearn dot <coughs> matrix dot matrix dot accuracy score y test comma predictions so, so let us check the accuracy score an accuracy score is quite well it is 0 0.97 it is 0 0.97 you can see the 0 0.97 accuracy score if we compare this accuracy score with the previous decision tree classifier then we can see that the accuracy decision tree classifier was and in case of a random form, has increased very to a very large extent we can say so the random forest classifier has built a very efficient model based on the same training data and it has shown an accuracy of 0 0.97 so this is the way to build a random forest classifier in Python using the data set and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe thanks for watching